So this video is um, going over the board inside the E-Tech 3 and programming it. Uh, first to go into programming mode and check your settings you want to make sure the gun's completely off and then you hold the trigger down and push the power button. Very much like uh, Virtue and Tadao board to go into programming mode make sure your tournament lock is off. The first setting you come to is this red and that's the firing modes. Firing modes there's only three on the gun. There's uncapped semi, capped semi, and then uh, capped PSP. Um, and to change them, what you want to do, to check it you just tap the trigger, flash once, I'm on uncapped semi. To change it, hold it down, and it'll go up to the E. Now E is for the 10 digits, which um, I'll go over. When it's in the E, say a setting needs to be set on like 10 or 20, I don't think any of them go up to 20 though. Um, say it needs to be put on 10, whenever it's in the E you want to hit once. Now, to go down to the G's, which since there's only three firing modes, it's, this is going to be a single digit input. So you want to hit the trigger, or not the trigger, hit the power button, it'll go down to the G. Now from there, you just punch in what you want on. So say I want it on capped PSP, so one, two, three. Now when you get down to the O, that's going to be the decimal place digits, which is like on your firing mode, uh, point, uh, point 0.5, point 0.1, point 0.4, point 0.3, whatever you want it at. Um, anywhere from 1 to 9 and the same thing with the single digits anywhere from 1 to 9 because 10 would be taking up to the next level and to save it from there just hit the power button and it'll flash green meaning it's saved and I'll check it yep it's saved okay now the next setting is ball uh, BPS with the eyes on you can cap what the BPS with the eyes on are Uncap semi will not be affected by this, but the cap semi and cap PSP will be. And I believe right now it's on 12.5. Alright, I'm not going to mess with that. Now my eyes off BPS. This will override the uncap semi and will go to whatever you have to set out. I believe I had it on 10. Well, maybe not 15. Okay, I'll go over putting on 12.5 for you. Hold it. It's in the E. I went on 12.5, hit the trigger once, once. Go down to the single digits. It's 12, so 1, 2. I go down to the O, and I went on 0.5, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Hit it, saved it, it's good. Whenever it doesn't save, it will flash all red. So if you haven't changed anything, and I'll show you here, you just hit down. It doesn't save, it keeps the uh, setting you had before, or if you set it in a parameter that's too low or too high, It'll, um, it won't go through. Okay, what's the next one? Next is ramp kick-in rate, which can be set anywhere from 5 to 10, uh, to 10 BPS. So that's like how fast you have to walk the trigger before the PSP kicks in. I'm not too fond of that. I wish it wasn't on there. I like the Richie board setup, but whatever. The, uh, next one is going to be the ramp restart time which is basically after you let go of the trigger for a certain amount of time how long will it be before it goes back to the one shot and the next one is going to be dwell stock dwell is nine on here it's this purple color and next is going to be debounce which is anywhere from one to ten i haven't messed with debounce and then the last one is ball detection time which is basically the delay on the eyes and the gun before it fires and that's pretty much all there is to it um, to go instead of having to shut your gun off then turn it back on to be regular firing mode all you gotta do is push the power button until it flashes like that and you're good to go as you see turn the eyes off and shut her off 